Hey everybody, Cranky Gun Reviews here. A uh, little short video tonight, Thursday night, and uh, it's an ammo update video. So again, I said in some of my last videos, there's no Cabela's near my house. So when I go to my office, I tend to try to stop at Cabela's because uh, it's kind of near my office. So went in there this morning on the way to work, just seeing if they had anything in stock. And they did have, uh, I don't know, probably half a dozen, maybe a dozen cases of different uh, normal ammo. So 9 mil, 45, 223, 556, 22 Win Mag, and I think they had some 22 this morning when I went in. But what I was really after was some 450 Bushmaster. And mainly I was looking for that because I just picked up that 450 Bushmaster Ruger American a couple weeks ago. And um, that's one of those cartridges that not a lot of people shoot. And that's kind of the appeal for that rifle for me right now. Now it's not cheap, it's about 30 bucks for 20 rounds of ammo when you can find it. Um, so I just took a chance, went into Cabela's, and they had five boxes of Herders. Um, the same 450 Bushmaster, I think it's like a 250 grain soft point uh, projectile. Um, they had five boxes of it, 30 bucks a piece. It was a little bit pricey, but I ended up buying all of them. Uh, they did have some other Fusion and some other stuff on the shelf too. That was a little bit too pricey. It was about 40 bucks a box. I'm not going to spend that much, uh, especially since I'm pretty much just target shooting with the rifle anyway. But now I got some of that. And um, so they allow you to buy five boxes. So I got five boxes of that. I came back later in the day and um, they had a bunch of 5.56. Five, so I grabbed some of that. I got three boxes of 5.56. Five, five, and the only reason I got three was because that's about how much money I had left to spend on it uh, when I came back. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I got. So this is what I ended up getting today. <clears throat> the 450 Bushmaster, these rounds just, they surprise me how big they are. I mean, bigger, probably bigger, they're definitely bigger diameter than a 3030. The casing is probably about the same size as a 3030, but these are 260 grain soft point rounds. So pretty big rounds. Um, I'm pretty happy with these actually. I like, I like the way these look. Um, I'm betting they're gonna expand really well. If I ever do end up going hunting, I don't have my hunting license yet, um, but that's something I do want to work on getting at some point in time. So I got five boxes of that, 260 green. And this is one of those rounds that uh, it's pretty stout when you shoot it. It kind of hurts a little bit when you're at the range. So definitely not one that I shoot a lot of besides the fact it's so expensive. And then I did grab three boxes of M193 5.56 Winchester. Like I said, I could have bought five boxes of it, but I only had enough money to buy these three. And as I've said before, don't bankrupt yourself when you're buying ammo. If you have a little bit of money and they have some ammo in stock, buy a few boxes. That's been my philosophy. I mean, this was 150 bucks for that. And these actually, these used to be around $7.50 to $8 for a box. Now they're $12.99. So <clears throat> prices are definitely climbing, even at Cabela's. I think the manufacturers must have had to bump the price up because uh, for the most part, Cabela's has been holding steady on their pricing. Their pricing hasn't gone up at all on most of their standard ammo. And they did have a bunch of 22 Win Mag. I got a bunch of that stuff in stock already, so I'm not, again, I'm not hoarding ammo to the point that if they have it, I'm buying everything I possibly can. I did buy my limit on these because they only had five boxes and... Um, it's one of those things, once it's gone, 450 Bushmaster may not be popular enough that they start remaking it very quickly. So I'm actually saving all my shells uh, when I do this in case I ever get into reloading. I don't know if I will, I'd like to. But if nothing else, if somebody else wants to reload it, I'll keep all my shells and either give them away or sell them. And then this stuff, I have a pretty good amount, 556 and 223. But again, like I've always said, if you have a few bucks in your pocket and they have some ammo in stock, you want to stock up this is when you do it so next time i go to the range if i shoot 60 rounds i'm not taking it out of my stock i'm using this stuff which is a pretty cheap uh 556 five, target ammo works plenty well for anything i do most of what i do is just target shooting anyway but that's just a little short update video so again that's just a short little update video thanks for watching cranky gun reviews if you are patient instead of going out and blowing hundreds of dollars on your credit card, buying the stuff online or wherever, uh, where it's marked up, you can be patient. You can buy a few boxes at a time and still stock up. So like I said, they did have some other ammo. I think they still had some nine mil um, 
defensive ammo and things like that. But again, I'm not gonna pay 40, 40, 50 bucks a box for defensive ammo. That stuff is still pretty expensive. I have plenty of the old um, Remington UMC jacketed hollow point nine mil and things like that. That's probably my favorite carry ammo because it used to be about 32 to $34 a box for a hundred rounds. And I probably have five or six boxes of that left in my stock. So pretty good amount of that stuff. And again, I don't, typically shoot a lot of my carry ammo. Uh, when I get a new gun, I'll put my carry ammo through it just to make sure it functions. But typically I have a pretty good stock of that stuff. So just a little update video. Thanks for watching Cranky Gun Reviews. God bless America. And right now, more than ever, it is important to support your 2A rights. Log on to some website like Firearms Policy Coalition or some other website like that. They have pre-written letters that you can write to your senators and to people in Congress to try to stop them from making all these crazy gun bans happen. I mean, it seems like every time there's a shooting, and again, I I hate to say this, I don't like doing political things on my channel, but I almost knew that because there was a lull in everything that was going on and knowing that Biden wanted to push his gun control policy, that there was going to be an incident that would cause them to um, you know, rush out and do some sweeping gun control leg legislation. Well, I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I'm not saying that that guy in Colorado actually did run out and do this uh, like he was hired or anything. I'm not saying that um, at all. But incidents like that really give fodder to the liberal politicians that are trying to get rid of your guns. So please, like I said, check out Firearms Policy Coalition, some of those other sites. They have pre-written letters you can send to your senators, to your congressmen, to your, your uh, people in leadership in your state to talk about voting against these bans, these outright bans. It is a complete uh, ruination of our two-way rights. So please support your two-way rights. God bless America. Have a great day and keep shooting.